So the story begins on a beer and gas run to New York. So one weekend, I decided to go visit my friend Joey in Sherman, Connecticut. And he decided that he wanted to go get some beer and gas. And the only place we could go was New York because the law states in Connecticut that you can't purchase beer on a Sunday. So we hopped over the border to Pauline, picked up some natty ices and gas. And on our way back, um, Joey pointed to the right and said, hey, look, it's the Aiken Free Library. And he continued to tell me that the Egan Free Library housed two museums and on the bottom floor of this building had a shrunken head. So we decided that the next day that we were going to go check it out. That's what we did. Aiken Library was built by Mr. Albert J. Aiken in 1898 when he was 95 years old. He decided to build this for the community which housed at the time a resort called the Mizzentop Hotel. Many people from the hotel used the library in the 1890s when it was housed originally at the Aiken Hall. Um, this building was his dream from the beginning. He had made his fortune in banking and railroad. He is the reason for the Harlem Line, which goes through Brewster and Pauling. The building houses two museums, the Gunnison Museum of Natural History. Mrs. Gunnison collected for over 60 years of her life. She was a botanist who loved collecting all kinds of things, rocks, minerals, birds, insects, and she decided in 1960 to give the Huck collection to the Aiken Free Library. The stuff that this place has is remarkable. I mean, there's stuff from Taxidermies like stud bobcats, stud foxes, eagle, lots of shells, minerals, um, different kinds of sands, salts, rocks from everywhere all over the world. There's the shrunken head. The head was like this big, you know, the mouth was sewn shut. There was hair on it. There was even a how to do sheet on the side of it telling you how you can shrink a head. Um, there's also, you know, a wall that has you know, vials of, of fetuses, fetus eye, fetuses. And you know, there's a cat fetus, there's a cow fetus, horse fetus, a pig fetus, a human fetus. It's crazy. It was very eerie, but it was so awesome to see it. Cause you know, it's not like every day you see, you know, a vial of fetus. You know, there's a, a wall that has, you know, butterflies and, you know, beetles and bugs turtles, you know, um, snakes. I hate snakes. I didn't look at it, but <laughs> they're there. Um, you, know, you just look at every corner and there's something there. You know, there, there's a head of a bison, there's a head of a deer, you know, a moose. There's also the farmer from Madrid, Spain. Um, I mean, there's things from every part of the world. The librarian, Jim, he you know, had told us that there, that this place also houses, you know, a bunch of articles, newspaper articles. Now in my head I was thinking, you now it's probably n newspaper articles about, you know, the Quakers and polling and, you know, stuff that, I mean, might be interesting to some, but, you know, I wouldn't take the time out to read. But then he, he started going on saying... We have original newspapers from Lincoln's assassination. So he goes yeah. into a door. There's a door on the side of the wall. And behind the door is a big safe, and inside that safe is just the shelves of art. So he brings it out, he puts the big box on the table. There's just you know, a stack of old newspapers, you know, dating back to 1800. And then he turns to the, you know, Abe Lincoln, Death of Our President Death, article. Death of President. And that's well, April 16th, 1865. That was probably the most um, amazing thing that I've seen uh, at that at Aiken Library. They even still had ledgers from hundreds of years ago. How there was a store on the corner of the street, and they had a book of ledgers, um, you know, having the credit and the debit and pounds of of what these people purchased. And it was 
cloth paper. Like I felt it. You see, you see the authentic writing of you know the ink, quill pen, and it just it. I had to let it sink in. I was my mouth was open the whole entire time. I was just in awe. <laughs> I mean, I never in my life would I think that I would see things like this, but you know. It's here, and, and let alone it's, you know, 20 minutes, a half hour north of where I live. The one thing that ran through my mind the whole entire time, you know, seeing that this place is so old, seeing that there's dead things living downstairs, seeing the old vintage things downstairs and upstairs, and you, you, you know, one, one question crossed my mind a few times. What I, my question is, do you think this place is haunted? Is there any, uh... uh I've been here many times and I've never seen anything except Mr. Aiken's eyes move. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, because you just think of all the stuff that's in here, it just adds an eerie eeriness to it. No, it's, it's, it's a library. It's a plain old library. Nobody's ever died in here, you know, except the birds that are dead, dead downstairs or some of the things, <laughs> the shrunken head. I've never seen him walking around. So. <laughs> Bomber, yeah, that that was a big bomber. You know, you just think, seeing all this stuff, it, there has to be some kind of eerie ghost story, or you know, like night at the museum type stuff, like stuff coming alive. And I, nah. not only is this place a library, but it has it has the most, you know, unique and historical and you know, most amazing, phenomenal things that you can think of is at this place, Aiken Free Library in Poland, New York. <laughs>